Why did I lose it? Good morning. It may sometimes seem like the cards are stacked against you. You feel squeezed and that your anger was forced or meant to happen. In this week's Torah portion, amidst the discussion about the sacrifices, the Torah uses the word nimtza, which means to squeeze. Rashi points to the source of the word. There's two verses. The first is a quote from Proverbs 30.33 about how feeling pressed and feeling angry is a source of arguments and quarrels. The second is from Isaiah 16.4, how milk is produced by the pressure applied to an udder. These two sources have great significance in forming the conversation of human failure and atonement in general. Sacrifices are offered to atone for mistakes, but what's the divine intent in creating a being prone to make mistakes? Wouldn't it have been better had God not created any anger? The Torah has a zero-tolerance policy for anger and equates anger with idolatry. If you believe that what's happening is from him, then you can relax, you're in good hands. There's no one in the world that can help or hurt you, you're only in his hands. But from the squeezing and pressure of anger, says King Solomon, emerges quarrels. Either you quarrel with the one, or you can quarrel with your own evil inclination and be upset about how he led you to get blindsided and to lose it. But what is the divine purpose of my imperfections? The answer is in the second verse, milk. From the prism of Jewish law, Milk has similarities to a limb detached from a live animal and should not be kosher. Milk represents the transformation of darkness to light, of evil to good, and how, as the Midrash Rabbah says in chapter 31, man cannot see from the white part of his eye, only from the dark part. And our darkest moments can create the greatest light. It's from the hardest times in our life, than the mistakes that we make, that we can summon this inner resolve and strength that we wouldn't have known otherwise. I dedicate a minute of Torah today to David B'Tzal HaKain Ben Leah for good news and Besurus Tevis for the entire family. Have a wonderful day.